Hello, my name is Saeed, a third year medical student at the University of Leicester, and in today's video, we're going to talk about GCSE requirements when it comes to applying for medicine. So, let's begin. Doing your research is really important, and when it comes to applying for medicine, this is where it really stands out, and it's something you definitely must be doing. Um, different universities have different requirements for GCSEs. Some prefer to have higher GCSEs, and they score your GCSEs, whilst others, they have minimum requirements, and as long as you meet those, that is completely fine and you can move on to the next part of their application process or their selection process. So to name a few universities, Newcastle University, we don't have any GCSE requirements at all. So if you've got five or six Bs or 10 A stars, that will make no difference to your application. What they use instead is the UCAT score. And just to tell you what that is, the UCAT exam is an entrance exam that a lot of medical applicants take and it's sat uh, in the summer before applying to medicine and most medical schools use this entrance exam. Another entrance exam is a BMAT and only f four or five take these. Uh, examples include Cambridge, Oxford, Leeds, Brighton, Lancaster. These take the BMAT exam and this is a different sort of test that you do when you apply for these medical schools. So with that being said, other medical schools who use your GCSEs may score them. So to give an example, Birmingham, they give you a score based on your GCSEs and if you get an A star or a grade nine, you get four points. If you get an A or a grade seven, you get two points and a B or a six, you get one point. So keeping that in mind, when you do come to choosing your medical schools and applying to them, keep your eye out for GCSE requirements and whether or not you meet those. And if you don't, just look at other medical schools that have lower requirements, such as Plymouth, for example. Um, they only need seven passes. So just to summarize, GCSE requirements depends on where you apply and different universities have different requirements. But it does not mean in order to get in, you need 12 A stars. You can quite possibly get in with five A's and four B's as long as you apply to the correct universities, such as Plymouth, who only need seven passes. As you've got five A's and four B's, you've got those seven passes. And the next thing you need is to meet the UCAT score cutoff, which was about 2,400, which is about 600 average. So I hope that video is useful and we'll catch you in the next one.